Hi everybody, it's Mindy and I have things to show you today. Look, um, I thought I might not wear this today because it would be too warm, but you know what? <laughs> it got cold again. It was 62 yesterday and it is like 48 today and rainy and no sun again. So anyhow, I'm gonna wear it for a little while. It might get in the way, I'll take it off later. But we'll talk about this in a minute because this is something I made and I really like it. Let me show you some other things. <laughs> My mom, they get these gifts from the casino because they're like, you know, good members and whatnot. And she said, I was there the other day and she said, do you need a bag? And I was like, what kind of bag? She said, how about a bag like this? And I was like, oh, well, uh, sure. That's kind of nice, right? So it's got this pocket here in the front. You can put things in. It's all lined with this material. It's really nice. It's got pockets here in the front. It's got a pouch in the back. This has a zipper. I'm like, wow, that can hold a nice project. So what do I have in here? I have one of my things I've been working on. Let me show you. And I have all the yarn that goes with it. Don't lose my hook. So I have um, three, here's my skein for I'm working with, two more big skeins of the puzzle yarn. And then I have the one I'm using. And this is the afghan I've been working on. It's a simple ripple, but oh my gosh, right? I love it. It's so pretty. It's fairly big. It's kind of wide. It's a very repetitive stitch. It's just one row. Look at, ooh, it make a nice blanket, right? And it's this nice, soft, fuzzy kind of this premier puzzle yarn. I love it. It's real. I like it. What do you think? So I haven't worked on it much lately because I've been working on other things. And I'll show you those. <laughs> so anyhow, I'll get back to that. And you know, now that it's getting to be summer, I don't know, I should get it done pretty quickly because a big blanket like that on your lap, I don't know. I mean, I am inside in the air conditioning. It doesn't really matter, correct? All right, let's see what else we have over here. We've got a big box of goodies, big old box. Okay, I got my Annie's Afghan Kit Club yarn. I think I showed that to you in the last unboxing. And so I went ahead and I did the next section. I really like this section. I like how these three different strips worked out. Look at those. So it was this one, this bluish gray color. They all have names for all these stitches. I don't know what they are. I really liked this one. I could see doing, look at it, let me get up close. I could see doing an entire afghan in that stitch, couldn't you? It's really cool, I like it. And then this one was weird. This was just a twisty thing. So you do like a double crochet and then you go back and you do a double crochet in the stitch before and it makes this twist. There's just a little bit of that one. But I like those three sections a lot. Premier uh, Anti-Pilling Yarn. You guys, it's really nice. It still has done this, look, <laughs> you can see it over here. It has still done this pull in here in this row where the star stitches were and stuff. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna go with the flow. We're gonna wait till we get to the border and see what happens. Gotta get to the border, get to the border. All right, this is what I've been working on the last few days, is this one right here. Now, I would tell some people this could be a little fiddly. <laughs> it's small, it's small. It's a three weight yarn. It is Willow Rise. I bought this as a kit. So this is Willow Rise. It's a three weight yarn, and this color is Coral Reef, aptly so. There's a little darker pinks in here, but they don't really come out as super dark, like a strip of darker pink. Anyhow, it's really pretty. So this is a top. It's a summer top. It's sleeveless. This is the bottom, okay? Let me see if I can get the part where I've done more here. Okay, this is the part I've done more on. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It was like five rows of single crochets, and this was with a little hook, like a 3.5. Yeah, it's a little hook. So you did all these little rows of single crochets. Then you did like this one here. And now I'm up here doing clusters. Now I think this is gonna be the main pattern here. Maybe this row, you make these stitches and you put clusters in them. I think that's the pattern that's gonna repeat for the body of this top. But I am loving it. It is so pretty. Um, it's a nice yarn. I have no complaint about the yarn at all, but look at it's gonna be a top It's gonna look like this. It's gonna go around my body like this. Okay, let's move that <laughs> It's gonna go like that, right? Uh, well down there though <laughs> But I 
like it. It's just such a small hook. We did move to a 3.5 for um, the shell part here. But anyhow, I like it. What do you think? So my first like top, we're going to make a top, a women's ladies summer top. And then of course there's this. And this was a wrap. I bought this as a kit as well. Um, so it came with the yarn and it came with the pattern. It's a four row repeat. Um, and not my colors typically, but it really has turned out nicely. I really like it. It's quite pretty. And it's still fairly light and airy. It's got open stitches, so it's not super heavy. It used three skeins of yarn, three like cakes of yarn. Yep. All right. So that's what I've been working on. The rest is mm, stuff I bought. Okay. All right. Let's start with this. This is the next month for my crochet one. And of course I don't have it open. What is wrong with me? Why don't I have it open? And I don't have scissors right here. Come on. All right. I might have to just get up and get my scissors in a minute. They're right over there on the table. All right. Hang on. Just hang on. Hold the phone just a second. Here's scissors. <laughs> I should have been more prepared, right? Should have been more prepared. Okay. Here we go. We got some scissors now. This is the Christmas afghan. Clearly, I haven't opened it yet, so I'll be seeing it with you. This is the next installment. They package it so nicely every time. Look, all this tissue paper and a nice little bell, this little sticker. See, I told this was going to get in the way. All right, here. There, let's do it like that. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. Oh, look at these colors. These are pretty colors. I, we get a different yarn every time and they're all different colors. Okay, so we have this one, which is like a rust color. This rust. They're 100% acrylic. They're not the best yarn. It's a little picky, a little scratchy, but anyhow. Then there's a pretty, pretty buttery. There's a lot of this one. This butter yellow color. That's really pretty. I like that one. And then we have some gray. We've had gray before, but the last gray was sparkly. Now see, this one feels softer. I don't understand. Anyhow, those are the three yarns. And then we, oh, this is cool. I like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is the hook that you'll use for the pattern. They send the same hook size. They send you a hook every time. So it's the same size. Um, I did recently order something. No, not from them. I'm sorry. I'll stop talking. <laughs> so this is a polymer clay handled crochet hook. You see it? Polymer clay crochet hook. Stripes and whatnot. Cool. It, you can't see the size. Yes, you can. I, I'll voice. Activate brain before you activate voice. Yes. <laughs> it does say the size right here. It, it is five millimeter hook, which is what we've been using. That's kind of cool. Got a little polymer clay pen. Or who do 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 polymer clay hook, and there is a darning needle there as well. And then the pattern is in the bottom of the box. Let's get the pattern out. This is just going to be one hot mess of a video. Now the dog's going to sit over here and choke and, you know, <laughs> fun, fun, right? Christmas Club Blanket Box for April contains um, the colors of the Christmas fireplace, the yellow flames, the rusty embers, and the gray logs. Nice. Ooh, we're going to do a crossover stitch in yellow, a fan stitch for the rust, and pebble stitch for the gray. And it shows you what it's going to look like here. Here's the gray. The fan is basically a cluster. You can tell that's like a cluster. And this is pebble. And then inside was the crossover stitch. So we're going to have a crossover. Interesting. Hmm. So it's shaping up to be a nice little blanket. I like it. It's going to be fun. i got a long way to go yet. It's only April, folks. It's only April. OK, let's get this out of the way out of the way then i got this big box of goodies here mm -hmm. big old box all right let's look at this next look at this i ordered this on amazon had to have one of these had to had to try this like come on open Cow. why is everything being i'll just tear the box that's fine i'll just tear the box perfect there had to be an easier way but there wasn't. Okay, box over there. This is my invoice. Well, the hook came out of the box. The hook's in here. 
You wanted to come to a struggle video today, didn't you? You came for the entertainment. I know you did. This is the invoice. This cost me $30.71. I know. But it is a furls. I had to try a furls. So it came in a box, but it didn't stay in the box. And I don't know why I got this hook. I went back. I probably thought I changed the size, but the chat, the size did not change. So I got me a big all honking L hook here, which is a seven. It's a big hook. And I, that's not what I wanted, but I'll keep it. I mean, I'll keep it because I can use a seven. But this is acrylic. It's very pretty. And it has the size right on the front here, as you can see. But it's a big hook. I really don't want, I didn't want to, ugh, didn't want to hook this large. But it's pretty. I wanted to try it and see what I think. You know, people really love the furls hooks. They talk about them all the time. This is called a streamline. There's another one that is metal at the tip, and then it's got, I don't know what at the bottom, plastic of some sort. Those are called the Odyssey. So they got this fatter part, which I'm assuming is because, you know, you want to be able to grip it like this in your hand like that, so it's fatter there. But you could definitely have a you know, skinnier part down here if you choke up on it. You know, I choke up on mine. Anyhow, it's pretty. It's all purples and blues. We'll give it a try. I'll have to find a project I can use a seven hook on, right? An L. Oh my gosh. Anyhow, there's that. I stopped into my local yarn shop one day. They had an anniversary. I think it was 15 years she's been in business. I have no idea. Um, I didn't make the anniversary day, but I went in on the weekend and I got some things. So let me show you what I got there. Last time I was there, when I went with Angie, the Craft NATO, we found these likey crochet hooks and they're made out of um, birch and they're super nice. I, I really love mine. So I'm doing a little project for the retreat. I can get it out of here. Doing this project for the retreat and it takes this size hook, which is a small hook. But I thought, let me get one that I can actually, I'm just going to tear this again. Everything wants to fight me today. There we go. Let's tear you out of there. Um, it is a 3.75 hook. Hey, that's what I'm doing this with. I could use it on this too. <gasps> I might do that. Okay. So, like I said, they're made out of birch. And mine that I bought last time was just gray. Now they come in blues and pinks. What do you think? Pink. I had to get this, right? Now that I know I can use it on this project right here, I certainly can. Oh my goodness. I might be using it. Look at, I'll be all matchy matchy. My project, my pink hook. These are so nice though, you guys. If you've never tried these, you can order these like online. I think they have them on Amazon and stuff. They're not that expensive. I think it was like $8 or something. Definitely under 10. I know that. But they're super nice. They're so smooth. I love them. Where does it say the size? Does it say it on the end of the hook? I don't know. I don't know where it says the size on this one. The last one, it was on the end of the hook. Mm, yep, it's there. It's on there. <laughs> it's so little, but it's there. It's printed right on the end because there's a little piece of metal at the end. Love it. Okay, what else did I get while I was there? Well, she has started hand dyeing her own yarn. And I thought, okay, cool. That's cool. Um, it's called Gnome River Yarn. Because in her shop, she has at her counter, it's like a river. And it's gnomes. You know me and gnomes. So her yarn is called Gnome River. And I wanted to try some. So I got some. All right. That's something, a sample I got for the retreat. I don't think it's going to work. But I wanted to try it. You don't need to see it. <laughs> Anyhow, here is her yarn. This is her hand dyed yarn, and she had these mini skeins. I fell in love with these two colors, you guys. Fell in love. Look. Look at them. Purple and teal. My jewel tones. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Mini skeins of fingering yarn. All right. They were like $8, maybe $9, something like that. Um, <laughs> these are called gnome lats because they're small. <laughs> this one she called soul. It is... Um, 92 yards of superwash merino and nylon fingering weight, of course, right? So that one's soul, and this one is amethyst, of course, from her Gnome River yarns. I will link her below. Um, she was so sweet, she donated something for the retreat for me. 
she did. She's so sweet. So I got those and I was like, now I need something to go with it. So if I could make a larger project and use these as like accent colors, and she went and she pulled out a couple yarns. And these aren't hers, but this is from um, Ba Yarn La Jola. Again, it's the Superwash Merino. This one is 400 yards of hand dyed yarn for Ba Yarn. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at it. Look at those colors. Now tell me, tell me if I can't do something beautiful with those. I've got 400 yards here. And what did I say these were? Uh, 92. So I've got like almost 600 yards of fingering white yarn here. What do you think? I can make something beautiful, can I? Yeah, that'll be so pretty. So that's what I got from the yarn garden. Yarn garden. Love it. That's my receipt. My receipt's still in here. I haven't even taken it out of the bag. I wanted to save it and unpackage it with you guys. Then I ordered from Lion Brand. Lion Brand had a huge sale. They had skeins of yarn that were ridiculously, ridiculously like reduced in price, like two and three dollars. It was crazy. So I think I bought four of everything. I did four of everything I got. Okay, so let me show you what I got. Here's one. This one comes packaged in, in a nice bag. So this is called the Mandala Comfy Cotton. A couple of my friends also ordered from Lion Brand, but they ordered this as a kit. This yarn as a sweater. Um, so it is 392 yards in one cake. It is, uh, where's our 50% cotton and 50% polyester. It is a three weight yarn, but look how pretty it is, right? Look how pretty. Look at her cowl she's wearing on the front. That would be fun to make, right? That would be great. Um, one, it says one ball makes a scarf. One, is there a pattern inside? They never do that, do they? They like never put patterns on the inside of the band. I wish they would. I remember we used to get cool patterns inside the bands, but anyhow, I got that one. I think this is called Blueberry Muffin, if I'm not mistaken. Where's the, yep, Blueberry Muffin. That's pretty. So I have four of those. Look, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. You sit down there. Okay. Like, they were like $3 or something. How can you pass that up, right? Can't pass that up. All right. Then I got... They also had their mandala watercolors. Another three pack in the bag. And since I got four, they gotta give me an extra one. <laughs> All right, so this is the mandala watercolors. Look how pretty. Look at those pinks. Light pink, dark pink, beautiful. Um, this is 164 yards in one of these. It's a five weight, so this is a bulkier weight. Love it. And it's acrylic, wool, and nylon. How pretty, right? It's called tea berry. It's soft and squishy. I love it. It's really soft. I like it. So I have four of those. Like I said, everything's in fours here, you guys. Everything's in fours. It's a big old box of yarn. All right. What else? They had their landscapes fusions. Oh, my gosh. You want to talk about something that is soft. This is soft. So landscape fusion. Mm -hmm. It is 109 yards. It's a four weight. It's 100% acrylic. It's a little fuzzy. Look at the color though. Oh, you just wanna, yeah, I could just squish up with it. It's so soft, just squish up with it. This is called Fort Tryon, <laughs> this color. It's gorgeous. Look at it. What do you think? So I have four of those. Mm hmm Love it. Love it. This one looks darker than those. It is. Huh. Interesting. Different dye lots, I'm sure. Since I got four, this one, this, look, see, can you tell? Can you tell that this one's much darker than those? It is. Oh. All right. What else did we get? What else? What else? What else? We got some more Mandela watercolors. Another three pack there and my extra one here. 
watercolors, aqua, aquarelles, aquarelles. <laughs> um, same, this is 164 yards. Is that different yardage than this one? What's this one have? No, nope, they're both 164. Okay, but this one's the purple tones, right? And this is that five weight. So I'll be able to do something with these. I mean, they're like, what, you know, 700 and some yards, five weight yarn. We'll do something. So I got the pink and I got the purple. All right. What else did I get? Okay, I just got some basic yarns because I thought, why not? Let's try them. These were like super cheap. It's basic. Oh, it's nice. Lion Brand Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling. One ball for a hat, two balls for a scarf, seven balls for a sweater. Lion Brand has over 8,000 patterns. They do, they have a lot of patterns. And they're free, you can go up free patterns. 185 yards in each of these. It's a four weight yarn. This one's called Hot Pink. Hot Pink. Pink, pink. <coughs> Excuse me. What do you think? Pretty pink, right? It's nice. Anti-peeling yarn is really nice. It's a soft, I mean, it's acrylic yarn, so it's soft. It's nice. I I love the Premier anti-peeling. I thought I would try Lion Brand's anti-peeling. And I got another color which can complement it. Again, I got four skeins. And I got this purple. Why not? Got the purple. What color is the purple? What is it? It is prism. That's prism. Nice. So, four and four. I can do something with those, right? Definitely. Cool. I like it. All right. Um, I think that's it. <coughs> I think that's all I got, you guys. That's a lot. This was a lot of yarn from Lion. But when it was this cheap, their sale was amazing. Now, this did take a while to get to me. Lion Brand always seems to take a little bit longer. Like, if I order from um premier or like some of the mary maxim and hirschners and places like that those things come pretty quickly this one did take some time <clears throat> but <clears throat> i guess it's worth it you know when you get this much yarn at these great prices i think this was like 60 dollars worth of yarn <laughs> right that's a lot a lot of yarn good price so you know check out lion brand and they do sales you know when they do a sale it's a great deal jump on it. All right. I think that's it. I think that's all I got. So I'm going to, I'm going to try my new hook on my project over here. That'll be fun. My new Annie's kit should be coming soon. I've got the Christmas one to do, and I still have the expression fiber arts blanket to do. I haven't done that one yet, but I've been, I've been focused on this and this, believe it or not, you'll believe it. I know you'll believe me, but this has taken me quite a while to do just this much. I think I'm pulling out my stitches as we talk. I think I pulled out some. <laughs> Anyhow, this took quite a while to do this, you know? So it's not gonna be a fast process. And this shell right here is taking forever. I've, I'm not even one round around yet, but it, it all takes time, you guys. It all takes time, you know that. Okay, I'm done rambling. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Um, tell me what you're working on. I'd love to hear what you're working on. And, you know, if you know somebody who likes yarn and crochet and things like that, hey, send them my way and I'll show them cool stuff, right? <laughs> I still want to do a few more tutorial type things. Not Nothing difficult, just basic stuff. Let me know if that would be something you'd be interested in. All right. I'm going to go and put all this away somewhere. I think I need, mm, I need more containers. I have three boxes of yarn sitting in the living room now. My husband keeps going, what is all that? <laughs> I need to find some place to put it. I need another tote. I filled that tote. Mm, I got one, filled it right up. I need another. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later. Bye everybody.